humanity on this planet is dynamic for all its faults. Great writers, poets, artists, and performers taking the expression of their genre constantly to new heights. That lineage is too precious to lose. But poised above all this are the mindless power grabbers who won't be content until they possess even the souls of those they've already begun to plunder in mind and body. If you only knew how much effort I've put into averting the madness that would turn a world into a place where no one would wish to live, to have seen it over and over again, but like some residue of the past, kept it all in this inevitable cycle, knowing full well this is not the way it has to be. The social engineers are trying to implement a monstrosity the new world order are following the Armageddon scenario, the revelations like a script because they think implementing the new world order, it will lend them power. The social engineers opportunize the faithful. They would think that this was the second coming and think their belief in Christ alone is all they need. They would uh, relax and expect to be delivered and resign themselves instead of doing something about the tasks that were being put upon them. And that makes them very easily eaten up. So their inevitable allusions to everything and revelations is to be taken with a pinch of salt. It is not cast in stone. Prophecy is useful for shaking people up to look in the direction of the inevitability and nothing to be superstitious over. The important thing is for people to wake up to see what's going on around them. The consciousness that can pull just from awareness can make a difference for the populace of the world to see what it is that is really manifesting this evil. There are so many people that are waiting to come forward, and they would if they knew they had the support and protection of people so that when they risk themselves, they'll have the full support of everyone that would be victimized. Examine everything objectively with an expectation of your own rights being respected and adhered to and with the law being imposed upon all equally for the social contracts that the people have with their governments to be upheld and that corruption be ended and punished. These are all things you already know. The level of deception is on such a scale that if you said, why don't these other people in other countries who are in leadership roles know what is going on, I would tell you that there are plenty of people here in leadership roles that don't know the truth about what is going on. People in NASA and JPL know the truth about what is going on. They are working on agendas that are counter to 95% of the people on Earth, counter to these people's interests, maybe even their survival. They know there's no alien threat. It will help them to implement a feudal system that will run the world to suit the elite. Well, the H1N1 virus vaccinations were part of it by introducing diseases that can opportunize physical systems and individuals that have already been reduced by pollution, by seeding, and by just the fact that your food supplies aren't safe anymore. All the wrong paths are being taken. Earthbound humanity is about to devour itself, about to place technology in a mindless attempt to control people, to control their minds, to control their motives, to control all, everything about them, and to eventually interface them all with the computer. And this is not allowable. And when some of the schemes that have already been voiced 
and noted of very powerful policy makers begin to take shape and become implemented, this experiment will end. Until you overcome certain cycles or certain repetitive redundancies that are what are called the wrong path, you're looked upon as not completely manifested, the petri dish is beginning to smell, that sort of thing. You must go backwards to turn the right path from the point where the wrong one was taken. If I could say that I had found one example of correcting the flaw in humanity on this planet's consciousness, it'd be a whole new ball game. But I can't. You have no idea how I've tried to find a way to make people try to build a model of unified consciousness and how miserably I failed. I worked with several people and uh, I've had them to the point where they're fed up with being ambivalent. They're fed up with this weakness, this frailty. And somehow they fall back into that ambivalent. I will say this, and I don't care whether people take this metaphysically or literally or as a leap in physics. If you perfect a model of anything, even if it's only in your mind, you can manifest it. Most of all, nothing has any meaning or purpose to survive that has no moral core. I know I have a history and there is a pattern to it and I've been through this many times before. What I've had is a tug to come. Uh, it requires a great deal of energy to resist it, to try to pull me back. And uh, I'm not ready to go. I'm not through. And uh, I don't give up on me. There is one person that is a negotiator for the EMVs with the ETs and between someone that will come and live among a planet that is being scrutinized and has problems and he will live among them and he makes the final decision about what's going to happen. So of course, to be just, to be fair, you have to be involved to make a life and death decision. That's why someone like me comes here to get involved. Yes, I am that person. Of course, I'm under a great deal of pressure. The community of ETs have wanted me to make this decision a very long time ago. They are very pessimistic about humankind on this planet. Actually, I do not reside to any decision. I merely lose the strength to withstand others' making as I am pulled back to my source, leaving the field of battle. I've been through this so many times, and elsewhere too. The diet is not cast, do not fall to despondency. In all this drama, something might emerge from among you to carry the day. Something that might be cut away the disease there. All the potential is there. I've always fathomed it, so I have stayed.